Hi everyone, my name is Darnell, I'm with Shoemaker Art, and today we are going to try a baster injection technique. I'm sure some of you have seen the techniques where they will dirty pour it out onto the sheet on the canvas and then use the baster to go around and inject it under the paint. Well, this technique is where you inject it all into one cup and then pour it on. I saw Molly from, I think it's Mar Molly's Artistry. Um, she tried a similar technique and it was uh, stellar results. I'm hoping to have the same. Okay, so this is a 10 by 20 canvas and I have coated it with white, my white mixture and pouring medium thinned down. Um, it is one part paint, one part pouring medium, um, one part GAC 800 and two parts Floetrol, sometimes three if the paints are thicker. And then I do add a little bit of water for this technique. Usually I don't. My paint mixture is usually a little more um, solid. Okay, so let's see here. Show you the colors we're going to use today. I'm going to use Payne's Gray. It is by Windsor Newton. And then some Prussian Blue by Grumbacher. And that also, that Prussian Blue has just a little bit. Of, oh, shoot. <laughs> well, we'll fix that. Um, the Liquitex Iridescent Medium in it. I like that look that it gives it. And then we have. This Deco Art Metallic Ice Blue. Love that color. And we have Deco Art again. Um, metallic Teal. And then lastly, we have some Liquitex Gold. All right. I don't look like I have to fix that too bad. All right, here. Well, I'll be pouring over that. Okay, so what we do, is this is my um, leftover paint from when I poured the canvas earlier. And let's see if you can see that cup. Let's move it back a little bit. There you go. And then the baster brush. All right, so we're going to start off with the Payne's Gray. Oops, let's see, I got to do this. Suck up some of that in there. Don't want that much. And stick it down in your white and squeeze out. And then we're going to go to the Prussian Blue. Oops. Seen it. And then the teal. That's what I was looking for. Some more air in there. And then we'll do the gold. Oops. Just squeezing that baster out, getting some of that extra paint. Still some in there. You can't, it cannot be helped. I think 
I'm going to add, I think I'm going to go through the colors again and do them one more time. All right, so we have some things gray. I'm going to go down a little farther with that. Okay. And the blue. Does make a mess. Okay, then we're going to come back into the teal. Try not to suck back up when I'm coming up, pull the paint up with me. And then we're going to do the blue again. Kind of do that one a little closer to the top. All right, and last but not least, we're going to do the gray. Or not gray, the gold. And I just have little cups for this because I know that the um, paint in them gets contaminated with the leftovers from the baster. So I did not want to ruin it. So I'll do another one of these and use all this up. Okay, I will um, be right back and we will pour this. I wanted to do one more thing before we poured it. I wanted to pour just a little bit of the solid colors on top. So just go ahead and give that a little bit extra paint. I have way too much paint for this board, so I'll probably use up some of it for some coasters. I have did a couple lately. I'm just loving them. Take up a lot of space, but when you start getting as many as I have done, <laughs> And then we'll just do a little bit of this on top. All right. Let's pour it on. Let's see what we get. Oops. Let's see if you can still see. Yep. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow, that turquoise is gorgeous let's see it's kind of like all right I want some of that white but let's see what we got there okay Oh my goodness, look at all of those cells. Can you see that? These are gorgeous. I think that's the GAC 800 that helps that and the Floetrol. I know that will do it as well. Okay, so open this up a little bit. Let's see what we can get. Whoops. Oh, I'm loving these colors. The cells are amazing.
Okay, so what I think I want to do is pull this down a little bit. There we go. Well, I'm not sure about that spot right there. It looks like an eyeball. I love everything else. Let's torch it and see if anything comes up. Well, I think that's all I'm going to do to this one. I thank you for watching. Um, if you liked what you saw, click the like button. Subscribe. Share. Leave a comment. Appreciate your input. That's it for today.